Hello Gemini, welcome to your end of April connection reading. So this is for Geminis who have a connection to somebody and they feel the energy between them and somebody else but they're not sure what that connection is. They don't know if that person feels it too. Just a bit of insight in um, why people say Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, Venus, Mercury and all that at the beginning of the reading. So the Sun is actually your soul self, your real self. Who you feel within your conscious being. That is the Sun. When the Sun was rising, it was shining directly on your sign. Your moon is actually what you need in a partner. That that um, little list that you write or you have mentally of what you are looking for in another person. That is your moon. Your Venus is how you love. That is how you you um, you articulate your loving self, your caring self. Your Mercury is your communication style. The way you you communicate with others. Your Mars is how you deal with challenges and conflicts. And your rising or ascendant is how people see you at face value. How they see you at first glance. So if you and your connection are only just you know eyeing each other at the end of the office floor or something like that. You will see each other's rising sign. And then when you get to know each other, you will communicate via your Mercury sign. And as you get to know each other, you will see that you you have the qualities that you want in another person, meaning that you see each other's moon signs. And the more you get to know each other, you can see your sun signs. Okay? So let's get into your connection reading. All right, so now I've meditated on your sign. What is the energy between Gemini and the person that they're thinking about? Okay, this is the second time this card has come out for a different reading. You think about them a lot. You think about this person a lot, probably first thing you think about when you open your eyes and the last thing you think about when you close your eyes. So you think about them day in, day out, like when you start thinking, are you obsessed? I know the feeling, you know, because I've been through that myself and you feel very connected to them as well. So let's see what the energy that the person you're thinking about feels about you what is the energy that your person feels about you okay let's try that again what is the person you're thinking about feeling about you they're finding creative ways to approach you okay they're finding creative ways to make things happen between you so it could be that you know they're you know pretending that they need to use the bathroom when they're actually just walking past your cubicle and you know you know it's just a, an excuse to come close to you or they're just you know finding reasons to approach you isn't that cute so you think about them you feel that there's almost a telepathic connection to to them. And they're finding very creative ways to approach you. They need to be close to you. Alright, so how does Gemini feel about the person they're thinking about? Ooh, a few cards came out, but I won't take them. They're a bit muffled with their message. How does Gemini feel about the person they're thinking about? How does Gemini feel about the person that you're thinking about? How does Gemini? I prefer the cards to pop out 
rather than we take them out. Oh, there's quite a few cards again. Ooh, so you feel like you need to compete for this person and it's like you think about them constantly. They, they are your everything and you feel like there is not enough you're not getting enough from them you're just like fantasizing about them you're trying to you know compete for them you're trying to get their attention any way you can it's almost like oh my god you know like i can't just let this person go i need to be close to them so and it's like you just don't feel that there's enough like you just need more and more um, there's not enough at this stage for you so how does your person feel about you the person Gemini is thinking about how does the person Gemini is thinking about think of Gemini oh it's hard work very hard work very laborious it's almost the end of a cycle though so it's almost like there's going to be a time when they can approach you, when they can come up to you, when they can. But it's just such hard work finding creative ways to approach you. They're running out of ideas. It's like, how do I just do it? Like, how do I get close to Gemini? They're doing everything they can, but it's almost like you're, you're I feel like I'm so drawn to her expression she's almost in a dreamy in her head like just constantly thinking and thinking and almost withdrawn how much they're in you're in your head and um they're like how do i get her attention like or his attention gosh you know she's always in this dreamy dreamy state and it's almost like you're in denial that they're but look they're coming towards you but you're, you're so busy, aha, I got their attention, yay, they looked at me, or, or they, you know, something. All right, so let's see what is the real connection between you and this person. What is the real connection? What is the connection? What is the energy shared between you and this person? What is the energy shared between Gemini? And the person Gemini is thinking about. I feel that it's a bit of um, head head butting, almost like you you sort of like you like that banter and you like that back and forward. You like to keep it as you know you just enjoying this moment with this person. You're enjoying that back and forth banter you're enjoying the that um what do you call it that attraction phase kind of trying to keep it going for as long as it will page of swords could be that you're trying to find out as much as you can about this person before you make a decision about them that's why you've got ten of wands because they're finding it so hard to get your to get your attention it's almost like you're ignoring them because you just want them to work hard for you you know you're kind of like making them really struggle to get get your attention what is the strength in the connection between Gemini and the person you're thinking about Ah, it's like you're plotting, how can I make this person feel? And you're playing a bit of mind games, I see. And they're like trying to follow your your lead. And they're, you're just making them work really hard for your attention. And you're like, aha, now let's give them a new little, uh, a new little um, obstacle course to get to me. And you're just having a lot of fun giving them little riddles and rhymes but you just want to spend more time with them it's almost like you're in a catch-22 yourself because you you would like you want to see them get past every hurdle towards you but it's at the same time it's like 
you don't know how to get out of this phase with them and you're kind of trying to find that as much as you can by making them do these things or making them feel this way okay so what is the strength in the connection between Gemini and the person they're thinking about what is the strength if the cards just don't pop out I'll have to pull one out they think you're very attractive and you see them as somebody who is trying to figure you out they're trying to figure you out just and they see you as someone worth figuring out worth the fight worth the obstacle courses that you lay out for them the new persona you show them each time they see you what is the strength in the connection thank you the strength in the connection is that they see you as a very independent, creative, um, stabilized, self-sufficient business person that can really take care of themselves, very attractive, very, you know, um, you know, uh, worth, worth every moment with. They just think that you are amazing, nine of pentacles, you're established, no one can kind of get to you because you are just so amazing and awesome all right what is the weakness in the connection between gemini and the person gemini is thinking about what is the weakness Ooh. what is the weakness in the connection between gemini and the person Gemini is thinking about what is the weakness? What is the weakness? I feel like I'm shuffling forever, but I just need to let the card come out organically. What is the weakness in the connection between? Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. A bit of fire just came out. There's very few cards. The weakness is that it's he's not or she's not showing you enough love even though you fight like it's a page of cups so it's a very immature love it's like you want more and you find them to be very busy very creative very on the ball very stable minded very friendly someone very attractive and you and you feel that they have what you need. So it's almost like the weakness in the connection is that it is not enough feeling. They are a bit maybe too attractive for you, you feel. And um, you feel that they are fairly um, well off. And you feel that you need to keep up the momentum by showing yourself as that too. So the weakness in the connection is that you feel that, you know, maybe they're a bit too amazing too, just as they feel that you're a bit too amazing. Okay, so let's find out the outcome for Gemini with this connection. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. The outcome is Ten of Cups. So this is a very happy card. It's like they make you feel just like like you just have so much feeling for them and it's like they feel it for you too. The outcome is just the happily ever after. Just like there's so much happiness in this 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 card. It's like a sta stable, happy family life. What else could you ask for with this person that you've been wanting? This this just came out with this. So it's like you think this person's, they think of you like that. They're so attracted to you. They think you're so gorgeous and you think of them like that too. Okay, it's like you totally honour each other as the highest possible value of each other you know whether it's same sex whether it's opposite sex doesn't matter what 
the genders are it's just you value the other with the utmost respect and adoration thank you spirit so let's see what the mermaids have to say about this connection between you a gemini and this person please mermaids tell me more about this connection between oh there we go there is so much attraction they feel that you are so beautiful and you feel that they are very attractive too there is a lot of physical attraction in this in this connection it's just like a very physical and that's why they see you like that and you see them like that and you're trying to find out as much as you can about each other and they're just jumping hoops to see you and to be with you and doing all they can you know that's why you feel that you need to compete for them you feel like you need to you know um just like defeat any other person that is coming close to your connection because you just feel it feel it so strongly all right gemini i hope you enjoyed this reading this connection is a very positive fun fun um connection with a very happy ending just be patient you'll get there you know i know you feel that you know time is is a thing and you just feel there's a lack but there's not really because they find you to be very very beautiful and you find them to be very very beautiful too okay all my personal reading information is down in this description box below hope you enjoyed this reading please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more it lets me know that you're interested wish you much love and light bye for now